welcome to Grub and Chud. On this episode of Grubbin' with Cold Moo, we have two different kombucha beers and also a lambic because they're sort of on the sour side. So these beers are made by Unity Vibration. Have we had any of those before? Um, I've had this ginger one before, but I have not had the raspberry. I swear we've had a Unity beer before. Maybe, but these are Unity Vibration. Hmm. Might be slightly different. I don't know. The label looks familiar for some reason. Yeah. So it's a, uh, yeah, kombucha, which is that tea thing. And it's also oh, that's, beer. That's, that's the shit that we did on the uh, Reckless video, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sort of had like a vinegary mm. taste to it, but I mean, that's what sour beers have. So these are sort of like sour beers in a way. We'll go ahead and start out with... The American Wild Ale Ginger. Let's try this out. I've had this one before. I remember it being sort of sour, a little bit of ginger flavor. Can't quite recall how much I enjoyed it. It's really, really clear. A lot clearer than I was anticipating, actually. Oh, it has that vinegary smell. Oh, man, really? That odor. Very, very similar to how sours <laughs> smell. You know? Yeah. So, but see, I, the bad thing is, is like the good sours don't smell this way. Yeah, and they smell a little bit better. Oh, man. All right. Cheers. Okay, that was. It's, it's kind of like drinking a champagne. Yes, I would agree with that. It's a very light sour. Uh, yeah. The, the bubbles are, it has a lot of bubbles to it, so it's got that champagne-y sort of crisp uh, mouthfeel to it. it. It's very sour, though. It's got this pungent, <clears throat> nasty vinegary thing to it. Especially, like, uh, the like the the ending taste that you get, like, yeah, the like, follow-up. It's really not a good thing. Like, your breath smells so bad. Like, I can just, every time I exhale, I can <laughs> smell this drink. It's just bad, but like... It's a little pungent, yeah. It's not too bad. Like, it's really it's scary really and gross and... Enjoyable. Freaks me the fuck out. It kind of reminds me a little bit of drinking uh, grapefruit juice. It sort of has that going for it, at, like, with the hops and stuff in it. It has a little bit of that bitter and citrus. But it's just a little bit more funky. I'll give this uh, a 7. I'm gonna go for an eight. Yeah. I, I really like this. <laughs> it's it, a pretty funky flavor that yeah, you can it's, like. It's it's got enough of that sour mm -hmm. that I like I appreciate in some of the sour beers. It, it, it that's really, really good. Our next Unity Vibration beer is Raspberry Kombucha. The Ooh. same sort of deal, uh, except instead of ginger, it's raspberry. I was gonna say it's gonna be like a from boys. Yeah. From bro. Look at that color. It looks like a wine cooler. This is a beer? Supposedly, <laughs> it's a beer with raspberry kombucha. This is a standard. raspberry vinaigrette that we are going to be drinking. Here. Sort of, yeah, but I mean, it, to me, it's much a much more traditional uh, lambic sort of smell because lambics are that sour with the fruit. Cheers. Right. Ooh, ooh, that's really good. That is. <laughs> Oh my god. I regret to tell you how good this is because it, it's so girly. It, it's such a girl like <laughs> it's like a cocktail. Oh, it is so man. sweet and tart <laughs> and raspberry. It's like a Oh man. Good god fuck shit man. <laughs> it's so good. This is so amazing. It's so good. <laughs> It's just like drinking sweet fucking raspberry whatever. Yeah, it's like drinking a raspberry teeny. <laughs> yeah. It's so... Oh, it's so oh, sweet. Oh, God. What is what is ABV on this one? Like, how fucked up are you going to be when you die off this thing? So, yeah. 8% ABV. Okay. 8% ABV. No. You don't taste any of that. No, the, the, the raspberry blends into that like <laughs> vinegary kombucha flavor so well. It's like drinking raspberry pucker. Have you ever drank a brisk 
Oh, raspberry tea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How you can just like open up the can and just crush <laughs> that? This is that. If that had a little bit more bite to it. Oh yeah. my god. Like, I don't want to rate this one too high because I don't want to fuck up the fucking framboise <laughs> together. But, like, at the same time, I'm like, this is so good. Uh, I'm gonna give this a nine. <laughs> it's good. I know, right? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god. I could. Oh, uh, I. I I feel like I would regret the next day because it tastes like there's probably a lot of sugars in here. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. You're gonna hate. <laughs> you're gonna hate your life the next day. But holy fuck, this I nine and a half. Nine and a half, geez. Nine and a half. I can feel it. And our last beer of the night, Framboise <laughs> or Frambois. Framboise from Belgium. This is much richer in color. Much darker. The head is even pink. Yeah. And it has. A, a, this is gonna be more of like a carbonated wine. It almost smells like raspberry jam. The raspberry oh, is whoa. so strong. So strong in this. Cheers. It's like drinking melted sherbet. Yeah. <laughs> this is... It's like sucking on a raspberry popsicle that has, like, a ton of sugar in it. It is dessert in a glass. Even though I love this stuff, it's super rich. Oh, it's... It's super tart. You can't drink this all the time. You have to be kind of in the mood for it. <clears throat> yeah, but, but like, when you are in the mood oh, for man. it, oh, nothing like eat like drink some of this with like a delicious cheesecake. Be Just so oh, so good with some like yeah, actually in, anything rich, uh, a goat cheese, goat with cheese some of this would, would be go so awesome. good with this. There's a lot of things like a lot of rich food products. This is so acidic, it like it really cuts it well, especially cheesy, creamy stuff. But it, even still, like, just, like, as a dessert, like, to me, like, I don't want to eat, like, some weird candy or chocolate or whatever. I would much rather just have, like, a small glass yeah. of this as a dessert. I'm going to give this one an 8.9. Uh, it's not quite as drinkable as the raspberry kombucha. So that's why I lower it just a little bit of a point. I'm going to give that one a 9. 9? Okay. If you're looking for just a beer, this doesn't taste like a beer. These two don't taste like a traditional beer. But, you know, if you like all kinds of different drinks, check these out, man. You're, you could be missing out. I would even encourage you if you only drink beer. Mm -hmm. Get outside the box. Try some new stuff. This has been Grubbin' with Cult Moo. Woo! <laughs> Thank you for watching.